Oh yeah, also, um, we were on the way for a cruise. All of our cars are lined up across the side of the street, aka outside of Roni's house. Um, I got a phone call that, you know, I was right down the road. I got a phone call, hey, this happened, blah, blah, blah. And yeah, we Tokyo drift over here. And the whole gang's here. Which, you know, sucks, but... And he's more. And he's... Alright. Good? Yeah, that's fine. That's drivable. Alright. What's going on, guys? So here, let me tell you what the moral of the story is. The moral of the story here is never give your kids your skyline. <laughs> okay? You ne never give your kids your skyline. Your skyline is your skyline. Leave it home. Don't give your kids your skyline. Yeah, no, listen. The truth of the matter is, I trust. <laughs> if I trust him with my daughter, I trust him with anything. Bottom line is, nobody got Accidents hurt. Accidents happen. Accidents happen. <laughs> we're gonna fix the car. He's gonna have to work oh. overtime. I and then, you know, <laughs> we're gonna do what we gotta do. He's not gonna see my daughter for two months until he fixes my car, and that's, that's his punishment. <laughs> yep. I love the kid. I just want to make sure everybody's okay. Fine. Everybody's Dude, I, okay. I live so close, bro. Honestly, we're all good. I don't, I don't care. These are gonna be drift spares now, truthfully. Now to upgrade a real Watanabe is if we fix this. Mm. This car is never leaving the driveway unless he drives it or I oh, drive I'm, it. I'm, I don't you know, think Ethan okay. wants to drive any I'll of the cars. Out, you know, I'm not touching your cars. We're going out. You guys were going to go for a cruise. He was going to take his car. I'm like, God, take the 31. He's like, no, then, then, then he convinced him. To take the car. <laughs> hey guys, what's up, everyone? Uh, next morning, we're actually going to come out here. Well, by the look of my son's face, I can already tell it's not a good thing, but we're going to come out here and... Um, assess the damage to the r31 from last night as you guys of course know the r31 was hit last night man do things look a lot worse during the day this is what the car looks like as i said yesterday thank god nobody got hurt you know my daughter was with her boyfriend they were actually going to go out on a cruise with my son and the rest of the gang and you know uh this is why you pay attention when you drive and stop at stop signs and look around because then you do this to people that, in my opinion, work hard for what they have and ruin it all within seconds like that. So I'm really upset personally at that person that hit this car. It was a 16 year old girl, literally. She's had her license for a couple months, if that. Um, she's claiming she didn't see them, which really sucks, but I mean, it's like, she was, a, she was behind a car at a four-way stop sign while, you know, Ethan was uh, to the left. Ethan let the first car go first, naturally. So as the first car left, he decided to go because it was his turn. So he got about three quarters of the way past and she just didn't, wasn't paying attention. She just gunned it, went through the stop sign yeah, and, and the rest is history. Five, but, five mile an hour damage. I mean, this is... Yeah. This whole car got caved in and did a full 180 at the four-way. So it's common sense. If he took off first and she did before him, then they would have hit the front end. Obviously, he was already past her to where it, it just sucks. I'm just really upset, that's all. <laughs> I mean, it looks horrible. As crazy as it sounds, there's no frame damage. The door actually is still straight and the door jammed. Um, obviously the quarter panel is destroyed. Yeah, so. the quarter panel is destroyed from what we saw underneath. The, the axle is fine. destroyed. Um, the the shock's bent. shock is bent. And I think you said, what was it? The, uh, sway, bar, the sway bar, lower too. control arm, axle. Yeah. The gas tank's still straight. The gas feed's still straight. Yeah, we're just um, really hoping, I mean, depending on what the insurance is going to say. I mean, the majority of the damage, as you can see, is right there. I mean, yes. it's just this part. I mean, we got our body guy. He's on his way here right now. He's going to take a look at it, even though we got to wait for the insurance. But he's going to come and take a look at it. He does all our work, backyard body work. So our friend Nesto. Still luckily straight, but I don't know. It sucks, you guys. It really does. But, what can, you know, like I said, you know, it's one of those things where my number one concern was for my kids to be okay, to oh, yeah. be safe, which they were. As far as the car is concerned, I mean, we're going to do our best because she's way too nice to to just let go. So, oh, there's our body guy. He just pulled up. I got to see the, the the expression on his face when he sees this. 
Yep, th there's the expression on his face. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Last night, little some girl decided to run the stop sign. We actually brought our friend Nesto. He was meeting us at the shop because he was going to work on the Sephiro that we just bought. And ironically, we figured we'd bring him here first. Nobody has seen it yet, Nesto. Insurance hasn't come. I just wanted you to take a peek at it first, you know. But I'm going to tell you now, they're going to total it. Yeah, that's what I'm afraid of too. And I'll tell you why. There's two reasons they're going to total it. Okay. The door won't shut. This this section right here uh -huh. is all tweaked in. They're gonna total it for that and because of this wheel. But it's fixable. I mean, you know, we can always fix it, but they're gonna total it because of that. Okay, so this is the part where we stop recording because we need to discuss this and talk about what our options are. So we're gonna be stopping uh, so we can talk to our buddy Nesto here so he can give us his opinions on everything and. Uh, we'll keep you guys posted. Uh, let us know what you guys think, man. I mean, it sucks. Like we said, like you even heard my son say, you guys be careful out there. You know, you guys got to be careful out there. It sucks that people aren't paying attention and they, they have to cause this kind of damage to, to people who, you know, love their cars and what they do. that the person coming to the stop sign is going to stop. Exactly. He's I've right. I've fixed too many of these and I've seen too many people hurt because of that. He's right. He's 100% correct. There's times where I pull up with my GTR and honest to God, sometimes people get pissed at me because I'll wait till everybody's gone purposely just so that I can go because I just don't trust anybody. But anyway, um, all right, guys, over and out for right now. We'll keep you guys posted on this. Thanks for watching. Thanks for, of course, subscribing to the channel and always supporting us.